Hey guys, it's your coach Dave here and I wanted to come and bring you guys a message today for something that I hear so frequently and I'm hearing very often about people's beach body businesses stuck. Like right now, um, are you stuck with where you are in your business? And I'm really speaking to, it could be at any level, but I'm really trying to go back to like um, when I was an Emerald coach or when I was a Diamond coach and I wasn't getting anywhere and my business was really stuck. And I wasn't getting to that next point. I thought all of my leads have been exhausted. I thought I've spoken to every single person that I could possibly speak to. I thought that everybody was gonna say no. There was nothing more to learn. Um, that I was not gonna get to the next level. And I really, you know, thought at a time that I was stuck. And this is meant for where I'm gonna be in the business. But I knew that something Something had to change, and I really wanted to come on here and do a video for you guys to talk to you about if your business is stuck, there's one thing that I did that basically took me to another level, and it was one hard thing that it was hard for me to overcome, and it's probably something that when I talk to you guys about that a lot of you guys are not doing right now or not consistently doing right now and not consistently doing it each and every day to help you grow to help your business get, get to another level. So I want to start off and say this, guys. Who you meet in life and develop relationships with will greatly um, affect, you and affect your success in life. All right? Who you meet in life and who you develop relationships with will greatly determine your success in life. So the power of proximity is basically you are going to be like the five people that you are closest and most surrounded by or you're with the most. So if you are constantly surrounded by people that are at the same level than you or um, not more successful than you, it is just science, it's proven that your capacity because your power of proximity will only take you so far. So my thing guys, and I wanna share with you guys is, and then I'm gonna take you through the journey with me and what happened, um, for being a guy, and for a business that says one of the personal um, main vital behaviors is personal development, right? I was somebody that was very reluctant against it. And I want to ask many of you guys, I'm sorry, my phone keeps slipping here. I want to ask many of you guys, have you been reluctant to committing to your personal development? Like every single day. Not just, you know, I read, you know, half a book and then I stop or maybe I haven't been doing it at all or I don't need that stuff. Because let, let me be honest with you guys, when I got to Diamond Coach, I, I got to Diamond Coach basically through grit and just grinding. Um, being in law enforcement, and many of you guys know I'm with the state police and I've been with them for um, almost 19 years now. And I was somebody that thought I didn't need it. I didn't need to read anything. I didn't need to... Um, listen to any audios. I didn't need to learn any of that rah, 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 personal growth stuff. But I realized that as I finally committed to it, that successful people think differently than unsuccessful people, okay? Successful people think differently than unsuccessful people. And you can't give in life what you don't have. You only can give what you have. So if you want the people around you to get better, you must get better. So right now, if your business is stuck, I'm asking you to check your ego with your results. Meaning get over yourself of, I don't need to grow um, so that you can get to the next level. Because I'm going to tell you this right now, guys, that the coach you are right now is not going to get you to where you want to be tomorrow. The person you are right now is not going to get you to where you want to be tomorrow. You must consistently be growing and go through a growth journey. So for me, the one thing that I had to start doing was start reading books. And I know so often, so many people, I remember when I was like an emerald and a diamond, I wanted to be able to be personally mentored by somebody that was an elite coach or somebody that was, you know, like I wanted to be mentored by myself. You know, I wish I can get in touch with, you know, an eight star diamond elite coach and let them personally mentor me. But early on, I realized that that just wasn't going to be able to be the case. But I realized that I had to work with what I had with where I was because what I had was plenty. Okay? I had to work with what I had with where I was because what I had was plenty. So early on, something that John Maxwell told me in a book that I read, um, Leadership, he's an author, one of my favorite authors, is that 
Your mentor, mentors early on in life are the books that you read. It's the authors. It's these people in the books that you read. So when I finally committed to personal development and I started with John Maxwell and guys, and I committed to at least, you know, at least probably 20, 15, 20 minutes a day. I made sure I did a book a month. Um, I did a book a month for a good year and then recently and over the last like two years I've been doing about two books a month combined with reading and combined with listening to audios but follow this journey with me I want you guys to follow this and this is what's happened and happened to me and my success and this is why it's so important that you need to be doing personal development and then I'm going to get into hand in hand with that is getting to live events if you in fact commit to personal development and you are a stuck coach right now, Emerald, Diamond, maybe you're a star diamond and you're stuck. What I found is that once I got to say the diamond rank, I started to be able to be surrounded by and be in Facebook groups or be at Beachbody events, get special trainings or go to Beachbody Coach Summit, get to special functions. And I started to be able to be surrounded by other diamond people. And when you're surrounded by people that have achieved what you achieve, you start talking about things that, what, did, what are you doing, what, what didn't you do? And you start getting little nuggets and light bulb moments and aha moments of what you can do to get to even to the next level or improve the level that you're at. And when I did that and I got to Diamond for me, and I started connecting with other people and I started learning more things, I was able to apply them to, in fact, what I was doing with my business. But I realized at that point that if I didn't commit to reading, I wouldn't have been able to overcome and start thinking differently to learn how to handle objections better, how to build better relationships with people, how to deal with no's, how to be more confident in my life, how to know what to focus on, to not get caught up on you know negativity, to learn how to grow as a leader, be passionate about what I'm doing, and that helped me unstick myself to get to diamond. And then it put me in an environment that I was surrounded by other diamonds, at events, on groups, on phone calls, right? And then that pushed me to like, say, two star diamond. And once you get to two star diamond, it's like the first stepping stone that now you become a premier coach. If, you could, if you're a two star diamond, you could be a premier coach. And it continues to connect you with higher people. And for me at that time, and I think back then, I started connecting with some people at, in corporate. Um, they reached out to me and see if I needed assistance to help grow the team. And just to speed up what I'm talking about, when I got to Two Star Connected with Corporate, they helped stretch my mind a little more. Then it got me to you know, Five Star Diamond Elite. Then from the, getting to that, it connected me with people even more successful. Then I got asked to be on the National Wake Up Call last year, spoke on the National Wake Up Call. Then I hit Elite Coach again. Right then, I was asked to be, you know, on like Tony Horton's media tour to help with him in New York City because I was at that level to get surrounded by people that, you know, that that I wouldn't have had the opportunity if I was just an Emerald coach. Like doors open for you as you start growing and you start achieving certain levels, but you can't unstick yourself and you're not going to get to the next level if you're, if you're truly committed to growing yourself. Like you have to be doing personal development every single day because you won't earn the right, I guess is the way to put it, earn the right to be in that circle of people that will take you to the next level. But you have to focus on right what's in front of you. Focus on what you're reading. Focus on what you're listening to. Focus on getting on the national wake-up calls. Listening to stuff that's going to change the way you think. Because then you'll get to the next level. You'll be surrounded by people that are going to lift you. And then you'll get to the next level and doors will open for you. Right? Like I said, the national wake-up call. And then for me, you know, being able to speak at Beachbody events, being able to speak at Coach Summit last year um, was something that if it didn't start with me reading John Maxwell books probably in 2013 when I was lonely and I was by myself and just committing to growing, I wouldn't have had the stepping blocks or the stairs of climbing to be offered the opportunities to bigger things. And that goes hand in hand. I really can say that personal development goes hand in hand with live events. And this is why I say that, guys, is because when you go to live events, again, it's the power 
of proximity. And when you're at live events and you hear from people that are that are much more successful or you hear the success stories of people's weight loss or business success and you relate to those people, when you relate and you have that bridge, you understand if they can do it, I can do it. Because it's the power of proximity, guys. You hear these stories and there's nothing like the power of seeing somebody live and seeing them and going, oh my God, that's me. Or, oh my God, they have a, they're in a worse situation than I am and they just said they did X, Y, and Z to be successful. I never thought of that. I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. And that has happened to me, guys, over and over and over again. And I sit here right now and I wanna tell you that these last couple weeks, I've been able to get, I have some great friendships now with some of the top people in the company, some superstar diamonds that I'm grateful for. Um, this weekend we had, um, who I consider a good friend of mine now, and a mentor and a close friend with Scotty Hobbs, and I connected with him. Um, and just today, well actually yesterday, my wheels were turning. Even after creating a six-figure income, and even after having a successful business, my wheels were turning, and I'm like, oh my God, I can do this, and I can do that. I never thought of this and I never thought of that oh my god I need to implement this I need to implement that I need my team I need to get my team to be doing this because like I said guys when you get better the people around you get better you can't give what you don't have and I have so much more to give to the people on my team to my challengers to my new coaches but I wouldn't have had that if it didn't start with when I was stuck and committing to personal development. So right now, I, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up where it is. If you, wherever you are in life, and maybe you're not a coach, maybe you're in another form of business, and you're trying to expand your mind, you're trying to expand your market. Well, you don't know what you don't know is something else that I always say. Meaning that if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know, so you're not even aware of concepts or ideas or things that you can do to implement to help yourself grow. You need to be intentional every single day. You need to be intentional every single day and committing to reading something that's gonna help you expand your mind. And if you stop, guys, it's like muscles. If you're not using them, you're losing them and your mind is a muscle. So if you are somebody that's stuck right now and you're like, you know, I used to do it and I stopped, you need to get back on the wagon. If you're somebody that's saying, I I'm very you know, inconsistent on and off and on and off, you need to get consistent about it. If you're somebody that's never done it, you need to be starting right now and be consistent about it every single day. Guys, 10 minutes a day is all they ask, right? I started with that little. I just started with a book a month. It's like 10 pages a day. That's 300 pages a year. That's 300 pages a month, excuse me. And that's 12 books a year. I, you cannot tell me, and I know that if you read 12 books a year, that your life won't be altered and changed for the better, that your business is not gonna be altered for the better, that you're not gonna get yourself to a level to be able to be surrounded by more people. Like I just think of my team, our team, we have a Diamonds Facebook group page. You can't get into that group unless you achieve Diamond. We have people that wanna get in there, but they don't know what they need to, need to do to get there, and I'm saying you need to get to live events, you need to be doing your personal development, and you need to be able to rule yourself, hashtag rule yourself, take control of your actions every single day because you have 100% control of the law of decision each and every day. You can't control what happens to you in your life and the circumstances, but you 100% control how you react and your attitude towards it. And if you want to develop a better attitude and you want to know how to respond and you want to have more ideas and what to do, it's the authors and it's the books that are in front of you. It's getting to live events. It's not missing them and it's doing them no matter what. Like no matter how hard life knocks you down, you need to be getting into it every day. So what, what are some quick little tips that I do? I listen to audio in the car on the way to work back and forth. Instead of listening to the radio, right, or music, I'm not saying not to listen to music every now and then, but maybe four out of five days a week on your ride to work and back or your commute to work and back that you're listening to a book on audio, right? Maybe in the morning, instead of getting caught up in Facebook and the news feed and wasting time scrolling, you're putting 10 minutes into your mind and growing yourself. Because doors will open for you 
and opportunities will open for you and come your way that you could have never ever imagined. I could have never imagined years ago that I would have spoke at Summit or been on the National Wake Up Call or be close friends with superstar diamonds and millionaires in the company and, and, and even thought that I would be where I am right now with the team that I have and having my wife be home from work and being able to retire her, I would have never thought that Beachbody at the time, I would have been able to figure it out. But I focused, I read, I grew my mind, and as my mind grew, my business grew. And then I got to the next level, then I grew my mind more, I surrounded myself with people, the power of proximity, I got to the next level. Now I'm around another level of people. Then I surrounded myself and connected with those people, and I read books that they were reading that were at a higher level, and I got to the next level. And here I am now with so many amazing ideas that I have to get my business to the next level, to create a seven-figure income every year. But the thing that's going to unstuck you, not even a word, unstick you or get you unstuck or get you from not being stuck is your personal growth. You can't give what you don't have and if you want to get better and become more, as Jim Rohn says, if you want more, you need to become more, right? Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. It will change your life whole heartily. I'm telling you that. I'm speaking from the heart. You have everything you need to be successful. It's right in front of you. Work with what you have, with where you are, because what you have is plenty. Don't worry about if you're an emerald of getting to five star, if you're diamond getting to, te- you know, to two star. Worry about owning where you are and executing at 110% the level you are at. Because this business and life will reward those that become more. You are not ready or haven't earned the right or your mind cannot, in fact, go to the next level if you haven't owned the level you're at. It's kind of like they say that, um, you know, if somebody was to give you a million dollars, you probably would lose it because you didn't know what it took to get the million in the first place. It's so true. People win lotto all the time and they end up being bankrupt because you haven't earned or learned what it takes to get there and go there. So it's like if you were given a a five-star diamond team right now, and here you go, here's a thousand coaches, you wouldn't probably know what to do because you haven't went through the levels. So just focus on where you're at, focus on committing to yourself, to growing yourself, and your life and your business will be forever changed. Personal development, live events, they, they are synergistic with each other, they come hand in hand, you know, and in fact, it will help change your business. If this video has helped you guys, please share it with coaches on your team or share it with anybody to help them to get their business to the next level. I'm really speaking from the heart. I know this can change your business and your life. I know it can get you from not being stuck from where you are. Um, absolutely share this. I'd love for other people to get value and to help them achieve the most amazing life possible, that life by design, and help them achieve whatever your why is, whatever your goals are. Just remember, if nobody else believes in you, I believe in you, and I know you can do this. 10 minutes a day, start today, draw a line in the sand, I believe in you. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.